we will begin with our next topic. That is the importance of following organizational guidelines. So this is the section 4.2.4. In the solar PV installer course. So guidelines of the organization, they are basically the policies and the procedures. Which have to be followed for conducting the specified task by the organization. So these provide a roadmap for the operations of the organization means which type of operations, how to perform them, how to achieve the required goal. So that is all decided. Okay, or achieved by following the guidelines. So these are also critical in ensuring compliance with the applicable laws and regulations by guiding the decision making process and the business operations. Then organizational guidelines help bring uniformity to the operations of an organization. So the different organizations they are performed uniformly on following the organizational guidelines and the risk of unwanted or unexpected events that is reduced. So these determine how employees are supposed to behave at work, which ultimately helps the business achieve its objectives efficiently. Then however, organization guidelines are ineffective and fail to serve the purpose if they are not followed. If the guidelines are there, policies are there, procedures. Okay, they have been studied properly documented, but if the employees are not following it, then they will they won't be able to achieve the goal. Okay, many people don't like the idea of following and adding by specific guidelines. Okay, so some of the employees they might not be in favor of following these guidelines. So it is to be understood by the employees. The what are the benefits? So the employees they should be clearly explained, taught, informed about the benefits of following the organizational guidelines. Okay, so some of the benefits they are stated as with well-defined organizational guidelines in place, no individual can act arbitrarily, irrespective of the position in the organization which they have to follow a certain path. Uh, taking the situation on account, uh, if some other alternative method, if the employees is trying to take, then he should avoid it. He should only follow the guidelines as prescribed or documented by the organization. Means he should not change it. He should not take any arbitrary, any other a path away from the specified one. Okay, means uh, whosoever he may be in the maybe on a higher position, on a lower position, but he should follow the guidelines. All individuals will know the pros and cons of taking certain actions and what to expect in case of unacceptable behavior. So this is the type of punishment which will be given if the certain guidelines are not followed. So this we have discussed in the previous class as well that action taken. On an employee who is not following the guidelines, so it could be like a warning, verbal, written, temporary suspension or complete termination depending on the level of disobedience. Or maybe the level of ignorance of the guidelines. So some of the advantages. Like the consistent process and structures. So organization guidelines help maintain consistency in operations, avoiding any disorder. So the consistency is there, so disorder that is removed. So when all employees follows the organizational guidelines, an organization can run smoothly. With a normal task, the operations to be performed, they will go on 
smoothly on following the guidelines. So these ensure that people in different job job roles operate as they are supposed to, knowing what they are responsible for, what is expected of them, and what they can expect from their supervisors and co-workers. Okay, so guidelines they are clarifying what are the responsibilities of the uh, employee. Okay, and how others will be helping the employee, cooperating with him, coordinating with him. With clarity in mind, they can do their jobs with confidence and excellence. I guess the clarity is not there, confusion is there, path is not clear. Then confidence and the excellence both will not be achieved. So with every person working in the intended way, it's easy to minimize the errors. Okay, another advantage like the errors, smooth functioning okay, and minimized errors. So with all the staff following organizational guidelines, the organization has a better scope of using time and resources more effectively and efficiently. So better use of time, better use of resources. And this in turn, the growth in the organization. So next advantage could be that better quality service. So by following the organization guidelines, employee perform their duties correctly as per the defined job responsibilities. So it helps enhance the quality of organizations, products and services. Helping improve the organization's reputation. So products or the service, whatsoever has been delivered by the organization, that uh, quality of that output that is increased, the enhanced and the reputation of the organization that is increased. So working with a reputable organization, employees can take pride in their work and know they are contributing to the reputation. Need the part. I guess it is a matter of pride to the employees that they are contributing in the rise of the growth of the organization or the reputation of the organization. Next advantage is a safer workplace. So when all employees follow organization guidelines, it becomes easy to minimize workplace intents and incidents and accidents. Because accidents usually and mostly they took place because of negligence, carelessness, okay, or mistakes. So all of these chances of negligence uh, and mistakes, they are reduced, minimized by using by following the guidelines, and thereby the uh, the accidents or the incidents they are also reduced. So it reduces the liabilities associated associated with risk for the organization and limits the interruptions in operations. The employees also feel comfortable and safe in the workplace, knowing their co-workers are ensuring safety at work by following the applicable guidelines. So workplace safety that is increased by following the guidelines, the organization guidelines. So different organizations may have different guidelines on the dress code, time schedule, language usage, okay, like the dress code, manufacturing, person dealing with manufacturing. So there are proper dress code is to be followed. Similarly, by marketing. So at different levels in the organization, the different type of uh, dress codes, they're being specified. Okay, like, the, like the technician or the mechanic, his dress is uh, different. As per the requirement, the task which he has to perform, maybe big pockets to hold the tools that will benefit him, make his task easy. Loose clothing, the loose clothing that may be get a, trapped in a uh, machine, moving parts of a machine, it may harm the employee as well. So all this is a part of a proper dressing. So in such areas, loose dressing that is avoided, shoes that is also, uh, important part there in the workshop. The shoes should be there. Uh, loose sandals or slippers. They could also be. Uh, they could also harm the employee. Okay, so it could be the time schedule, the fixed timings, or the flexible timings, depending on the task which is to be performed. Language usage. Okay, now the example here. 
like the organizations in a client dealing business require employee employees to meet clients personally following a strict dress code so asking their employees to wear formal suits so this is one example dealing with clients formal dress should be there so organizations operating in specific region may require the employee to use dominant regional language of the particular region to build rapport with customers and to serve them better like maybe something which the company is offering that is in the rural area and if the person the company official interacting with them if he is using a very high level language he may not be able to communicate with the local uh, people there so he should be able to communicate in the local language which is easily understandable understandable by the uh, people there the clients they are the uh, client so they should be able to communicate understand what he is offering this also enables uh, the em uh, employee to earn their trust okay in other case like banks okay, there also the regional language that should be known during the hiring process okay in the case of a working hour okay the timing that should also that can also be variable some employees could be need to work more so one should follow the organization guidelines concerning all the aspects of the employment to ensure a cohesive work environment so we should stop now